Commissioner Barton? Present. Commissioner McCraw? Present. Commissioner Funes? Lieutenant Hepper? Present. Attorney Lamana? Present. Miguel is present. Okay, so um, we had an opportunity to read the minutes of our last two months of meeting, October and November. Well, lucky. You did. <laughs> you did. Good evening, uh, commissioners. My name is Tom DeMarcus. I represent the applicant, uh, Samin Inc. Uh, my client, Alpha Patel, is the Good evening. sole shareholder of Samir Inc., Samin Inc., and she's the only officer and director. And she's entered into an agreement to buy Johnny's Market. And uh, the purchase price is uh, $287,000. Inventory is going to be extra. Right now, we estimate the inventory is going to be about $20,000. Uh, she and uh, her family are going to put down $237,500, and the seller is going to finance $50,000 plus the inventory. So the total financing will probably approximate $70,000. So uh, Ms. Patel has uh, 14 years of experience uh, selling beer and wine in convenience stores in um, not only in Massachusetts but in Tennessee and Florida. She's currently the manager of record. Uh, Gloucester, at, Kevin. Huh? You're not? No, no, no. Um, I am manager in Gloucester. Right, right. Yeah. In, at the Cape Ann convenience store in Gloucester. And she's going to split her time. She's a very hard working. She's a single mother and very hard working. She's gonna, she plans to put in about 32 hours in Gloucester and 32 hours at this location on the Linway. Um, so um, that's pretty much the size of it. We're happy to answer any questions you have.
I, I forgot to say the two approvals we're looking for. Did I say it? Approving the transfer of the license and also approving the pledge of the license back to the seller as security for the, for the note that the seller is taking back for about $70,000. So um, we, we're applying for two approvals, transfer of the license and pledge of the license. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Especially when I'm out by 6.15. Six Six wow. I'm going to go buy a Powerball ticket. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, look a violation of sale to an underage person. Is the person who did the actual selling of the... Uh, is it? Uh, yes, is it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Want to tell us what, what happened? Well, this person uh, come to the liquor store and tried to buy beer, mm -hmm. asked for the ID. Mm -hmm. He showed me an ID, which it shows that he was like the legal age to buy. So I sell him the beer, and then like a couple of minutes comes an uh, officer with uh, two different to different identifications. And, but I didn't know it was like, you know, like, I just, I just checked the ID, I saw the person, and it seems to me that it was the, the person showing me the identification for. So was so, it? Yeah. But well, it? I don't know, it just has uh, two different IDs. What kind of ID was it? Uh, I think it was um, um, Maine, from Maine. 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 Uh, are we supposed to take out of state IDs? Oh, the it's is no. no. Well, right now they have taken the um, some steps to one avoid that. They got this device to uh, able to one uh, tell whether or not the other uh, the uh, ID is valid or not, and this is good for all the states. That that'll be that good. But swipe? so yes. you swipe and it'll tell you whether or not if it's a valid ID okay. for every state. Okay, it tells you if it's a valid ID for every state. Does exactly. the age pop up on the screen? Exactly. Yes. Show me. Well, right now, I me? I just <laughs> I give you one. But, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, we are not supposed to accept IDs from out oh. of state. So you it have to be just mass ID. ID. You cannot accept an ID, uh, a license, driver license out of the state. Uh, no. Not from out of state. No. Not from out of state? No. It, 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 I never received a letter from that. I've been doing this business for the year 2000. A, and then, uh, Thank you. Most, most package stores even have huh? the sticker right on their doors. Yes, I do. Because I came here once with the same problem that somebody uh, bought it uh, out of the state ID and uh, we didn't even get suspended. If we knew that, we will never ever. I'm a former police officer myself, mm -hmm. okay? And the law is made to everybody to obey it. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I said, that, okay. okay. Uh, he didn't know. He's the my employer that was not supposed to take uh, out of the state ID. He didn't know. But he makes sure, because I've been trained to that, that the person wants to be legal to buy alcohol. Now, we didn't have the machine to know that. We, and in fact, honest to God, I did not know that somebody out of the state can know why. Because if I go to New York or any place with a Massachusetts license, they'll take it. Well, I understand that a lot of Massachusetts is different. Yes. Yes. Okay, I understand that. I'm not here, but you know, my license is good. It's the Massachusetts license. It is good all over the United States. All over the United States. If you choose to take an out-of-state license, and it's bad, or the person is using No, we will license, never. From now you, on, you you're responsible from now on, we're not going to take it. No but matter what, if we're not on, we're not going to take it. But we didn't know that. It, we didn't know they didn't know that. So we're not here to violate the law. Understood. It's a good license. Mass license, passport, military ID, and you have a mass flicker ID. Those are the four that will get you through. If you never sell to somebody that doesn't have one of those, and it's bad, it's like tonight, then there's no defense. But the truth, we didn't know that anyway. And, uh, yeah, I, if we gave it up the package year after year, it's a state. Bring you a new one. Excuse me, sir? I'll bring you a new package. I appreciate Helping that. Helping to identify false IDs as well as I understand it's a device. I just want to make sure it's clear that anybody comes up with something good, new technology is good. Mm -hmm. That will show you that it's not a fake ID. Exactly. It will not show you that it's a valid ID, but it doesn't belong to this kid or this person. 
So you scrutiny <coughs> you have to exercise due diligence to make sure that the person who presents an identification mm -hmm. is in fact a person that's on that. Okay, I agree. Thank you. Uh, the license, you got some questions. Ask them for a credit card. Ask them for anything that's got an alternate name on it. If they come in with just the ID and nothing else, thank you. We have to obey the law and the rules and regulations. We always do that, okay? But I, you know, now the end of the Okay. Right. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. Detective Calder is correct. Down to well. Accepted a fake ID and he sold to a minor. There was no crime. Well, that idea that he showed was, uh, you know, anyway. No. Right. Okay. That's, that's what I want to get out there. That steps are going to throw some time. So. <coughs> What progression steps are they on? Three to five? Three to five? Mm-hmm. Three to five. Mm-hmm. Okay. I heard it. Mm-hmm. Three to five, so. Mm -hmm. But that's how, no se puede coger un libro de Estado. No se habla de otro país, man. No, tiene que ser de Massachusetts only. Massachusetts only. That's my... In other words, out of the state, out of the state. Three to five. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, we need a motion. Okay, so I'll make a motion. Uh, uh, there will be a five-day suspension. Uh, two of those days will be held in advance. You will serve a three-day suspension. Yeah. Um, starting on when we figure out the date. Do you have five days to appeal? And when would, when would they get the letter? Friday? Friday? Oh, you mail it Friday. This is what I can choose the days they would like to be sure that there's a conference. On the second, the 27th. Okay, what day? I'm going to get the request. All right. What days would you prefer to serve? You want to serve three days. You're going to hold two in a band. Good day. Good day. Good Mondays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Correct, yeah. Oh, good choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Okay. Motion's on the table. You have a problem? Your pen? I second that. Okay, motion's been made and seconded uh, that you'll serve. A five-day suspension, <coughs> serving three of the days and holding two of the days in the bay. Mm -hmm. hmm? A year. So you understand what the punishment is? Oh, in favor. Aye. 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 You're going to be suspended for three days. The suspension is actually for five days. Mm -hmm. okay. You're going to be suspended for three days. And two days are going to be held just in case something happened again within a year. Mm -hmm. They can give you that, those two days extra. In addition to whatever else. Okay. 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 Have those days again? February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. First week of February. Okay. okay. Thank you. I didn't hear well. Bring the license. Oh, I bring the license. Oh, you want me to bring the license here to the, to the room where I got it? Okay. When, you say, when I receive the letter, you tell me that I got to bring the license to you. On February 1st. Okay, yes, okay. No, and no, it should be no problem, okay? And you'll definitely get a new packet to them? I will okay. definitely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People have a great day. You too. Gotta do your job, I understand, okay? Thank you. Hey, Jorge. A partir de hoy, I'm Okay, so let's go back and um, look at anyone here for a uh, new license to find a serious core for me. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. My name is Attorney John Pinnell. To my left is Aaron Reams, the manager of the applicant. And we're applying for a, uh, a pouring permit under the Farmer Brewers Permit Program, 19C. So we already have a brewery mm -hmm. uh, just a few blocks down, and uh, we would like to have a tap room adjacent to the brewery. Uh, and we've provided um, the commission with a seating plan and patio and so forth. 
So essentially, we're here for a pouring permit uh, under Chapter 138, Section 19C. This is Aaron Reams. The proposed manager of record, John Eric Strom, is running late and could be as many as 30 minutes. And I don't know if we need him or not. But um, all, all the employees, including Mr. Strom, are TIP certified. And uh, this has been a long road for this applicant. He had to apply to the United States of America Trade and Tax Bureau, which was several months. And then we were at the ABCC for our farmer brewer's permit. And now we're here for the last uh, stage of the game. Have you ever had any other brewers before anywhere else? No, sir. You have? No. <clears throat> no, I haven't. Are you a resident? Excuse me? Do you live in I live in Swampscape. Mm -hmm. This is essentially local people from Swampscape, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. surrounding areas. All intending to make Lynn a destination for craft yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, You know, I've read all about it. I've read about the pouring room and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's great. Uh, you know, Lynn is, so to speak, first brewery. I'm very excited to have you guys. And, you Thanks know, so much. I, uh, I think in the world of craft brewing, Lynn has been overlooked as a destination thus far. Mm -hmm. So this would be yeah. hopefully the first of a few mm -hmm. that will make it a destination like Somerville mm -hmm. and some other mm -hmm. parts of eastern Massachusetts are. Everything looks been good to me, but what do you think? You got a chance to go through a patio? Thank you. I just had questions about the patio. Yes. Uh, tell me about it, please. I didn't see okay. that. Where, yeah. where, where am I seeing that? If you look at, um, it should be tab. Is actually <coughs> was created even before the Lynn Business Park was fully built out. Okay. Okay. That's All right. So that's okay. why. It's so, so where would it be? If you look okay. at tab 17, we uh, shaded the patio area. Essentially, it's contiguous to the licensed premise. Mm -hmm. um, We've leased the uh, entire back corner of the property as well. Mm -hmm. How long is the lease for? Uh, five years with another five year option uh, for both units 16, 17, 18, and the outdoor property. Mm -hmm. And when are you looking to open? Uh, so we would wait to receive all the licensures back from the state mm -hmm. and probably have a soft opening in February. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Not the patio, of course. For the high Sure, uh, 3.30 to 8.30 is what we're going to do probably Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then Saturday would be noon to around 8.30 as well. Really? Wow. It's not a bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, great. Oh. Deb, make sure you get that into the minutes. It's not a bar. <laughs> we'll see how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, motion's been made, motion's been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Right. Thank you. And then um, I just had one question. Mm -hmm. um, it was indicated that for the entertainment license, would that be addressed now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Okay, great, thanks. Okay. Great. All right, so, great. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck again. Anyone here from El Rincon? Hi, good evening. How are you? This right here is Mr. Felix uh, Fiera. He's the uh, owner and representing the uh, Rico Criollo. My name is Rafael Guzman. Pronounce the name again. 
My name is Rafael Guzman. I got that. The restaurant. El Rincon. Criollo. Criollo. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Rico Criollo is an establishment has been there for quite some time, maybe yeah. the last 30 uh, years. This is like uh, Union and Bridge yeah, Yes, ma'am. Okay. In Lincoln okay. Street, actually. Yeah. Lincoln. Yeah. Oh. At the very end of almost hidden to Chestnut Street. Oh. Yeah, they used to be called La Fogata only for at least five months ago. Yeah. The only. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, they just opened, they opened only about eight months ago. Yeah. Uh, they sold the business, operating business, to the gentleman here. Really? And uh, uh, he's trying to, pro, you know, in increase his business and probably keep it going. Uh, and your name is Felix Tejeda? Mm -hmm. And who is uh, Blanca Lopez? Wow. Blanca Lopez is the person who transcribed or put the paper in writing. She was not the only? No. no. I'm a translator for the gentleman here. Mr. Translator? Yes, sir. Not at all, sir. Uh, very clear. I'm only helping as a translator and um, helping the you know, Mr. Chairman here is the person to translate whatever he needs to translate. Now, it says here that the square foot of the place is 50 square foot? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And, and it has a capacity for 79 people. 79 people? was actually the before uh, this occupancy, um, for what I understand. I spoke to Roger Ennis last week, and he said that the most that he saw on that location, because of only one entrance, was 29 people. So that is basically what he's probably going to be writing, at, you know. Then this needs to be redone because he says he has 79 people on his 50 square footage. No, yes. no. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. Because yeah, it, it, each of you is getting on the right now. So, so yeah. <laughs> what I'm confused about. Room wise, that's, was, that was the occupancy so all the time. We were in a weird. Yeah. I don't get it. And it's for some of them, it's it. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. The seating capacity is actually 29, but the feeding capacity, it could be also 20, uh, 79. But it's not. Yeah. So, it's what, that's not, the, it, so, it's not. Exactly. 29 is the number. Yes, ma'am. Period. Yeah. I'm not, I, I'll tell you right now, I, I'm not comfortable dealing with this at all until we find out exactly what is going on. How did this, how, how did this all take place? I mean, we weren't even aware that the place was closed. <laughs> it was closed. The restaurant never turning the license. Me and Fabiana. Yeah. So how do we know this? Um, There's one in here that says that he bought it for ninety-two thousand. Um, says ninety-two thousand, and that's the initial uh, startup price. So. 
He's coming up with fifteen thousand down payment. How is the rest of the money going to be paid? Come on, just let me know. Después que uno consiga la licencia del alcohol, en 30 días se le va a una parte del dinero. Yeah. The agreement is that after the license, uh, upon license approval, uh, they were going to uh, make a second payment um, to the seller. And después de eso, and after uh, that, one, about a year, uh, a tener el they were going to pay the rest of the money. They are renovating and doing some cleaning because the health department. Uh, it's like cleaning most of the time, that's what they say they're doing. Okay, so the Nathanai department, what we are doing is going to. He's not open right now. No. 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 He said, well, they said, said they're in there cleaning. Right. They're talking to them in there cleaning. I got okay. assurances from the people in there. Okay. Okay. There's no plans to open until they come before the board okay. to get their license. All right. Ya que hasta que no tengan la licencia del Departamento de Salud y Dar, no pueden abrir todavía. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero si se puede abrir sin la licencia de la salud. John made the motion. I'm sorry. Miguel seconded. He has a question. Yes. If he will obtain, tomorrow he has a final inspection with the food department and building inspector. If he was to get this permit all approved, he can open as a food establishment, is that correct? No, that's not correct. He doesn't have a license. No, not for alcohol, but I believe. He doesn't have a license for? No, no, tomorrow he has an inspection going. We need to approve the license for the restaurant. Okay. Que la licencia para el restaurant necesita ser aprobada por el paso. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we have a hearing on La Parata. Uh, no, I don't like to. No. No. Okay, this is the one about the assault and battery. Yeah. I checked the mail and I actually responded to it. There was a guy's come in, mm -hmm. they ordered a drink, they had a like amongst themselves, a little push and shove the mention of a gun and everything else that was mentioned. They were gone by the time we got the but the detectives and some of the uniformed officers stopped and they were identified. As I spoke with Francisco during the incident, he was very helpful. Uh, I don't know if there were a lot of staff to have done to prevent that. Okay. Anything that they, they were just uh, they appear to have been intoxicated from prior to going into the establishment. It looks like they only had one beer while they were in there, and they were fighting amongst each other. Mm -hmm. um, and they were helpful with us. I would say the only thing is, is that just to pay attention to who is certain. Right. 
Right. Just because they were, I mean, when we did some of these strong pillars, it was approximately 15 minutes later, mm -hmm. um, the individual who was the main problem um, couldn't stand up on his own. I mean, he was falling down on the sidewalk and we were moving in the car. Wow. And there was, you know, um, liquor bottles in the car that like, had seemed to be from earlier on. Mm -hmm. And I would just say that the comments of that who was serving their already intoxicated comments in the establishment. Okay, do, do you understand what's being said to you? Not a little bit at all, but you know, so it's wrong that he didn't do that, but then they mess up to each other. But okay, okay, remember, as the owner, you do have the right to refuse anybody, just based upon your gut yep. feeling that you've already had enough. You go, go drink. Yeah, I do, I do that, I do that. Okay, I mean, you're sure. that guy, sure. you didn't see it. Yeah, I do, I, I do, but. It was it was a quiet day. It was they they table together. They yeah. fight and they also they are part together and they go away like a detective. Oh, it's been too. So yeah, I give it the video taping everything too. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Can you be cool up with it? Yeah. Just let it go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and then I think we should send another letter to um, France. I'm willing to bet. Well, no. No, I think you better send a letter and let them know that their license will be revoked if they do not show because they should have been here. He got his, so mm -hmm. I have to assume everybody got his. Okay? Please. All right then. So we have communications. Right. And now all famous police reports. So am I. I yeah, yeah. They, 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 they took us literally at the Christmas party. And half the staff. Right. Yeah. Right. I love it. I don't have that many. Okay, um, we do have a letter about um, Lone Nuestro. Uh, they are appealing their there was supposed suspension. To be well, they, um, they've asked for a continuance oh, okay. because um, the attorney couldn't make it. Both China Bowl and Lone Nuestro. But um, the hearing has been scheduled for April 4th. closing yeah. when he responded to. Um, my biggest frustration was, as we responded, the bartender actually locked the door and went back downstairs. And I can't say that he saw us, but yeah. um, one of the people that works there and one other customer were in the bar, and they had an argument, and there's allegations of pushing and shoving. One was a female. Mm -hmm. Although she was the complainant, she probably was the aggressor, mm -hmm. and, um, and there weren't going to be any charges filed criminally. It was a mutual uh, thing. Um, there weren't any criminal charges necessarily. My concern was that they didn't call the police and they didn't, um, but they weren't really available for us. We had bang on doors yeah. quite a bit. Um, we interviewed the bartender. He says he didn't happen in front of him. We went in the back and there were only two people there. Did they, did they not have drinks? I forget. 
I think his whole justification was that they were one of them was in, one of them involved was like, we're the, the, the bar manager, or, like so we figured he didn't have to because he was the bar manager. Oh no, kind of justification. <laughs> Maybe we should bring them in. Bring them just to remind them. them, them that, you know, yeah, just call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I don't think I have necessarily have a problem with uh, them being able to give us video and everything else. I knew I inquired, and I think it was, I don't have it physically. I don't know that I saw it, but it was something that they were going to contact if people try to get it. So they've been cooperative in that respect. And okay. it wasn't a, you know, no one got injured. You know, it was a very minimal incident to some extent. But still, it's your opinion. They were intoxicated. She was intoxicated. Yeah, he felt as though he kind of um, was the police, the judge, and the jury on it, and he felt as though it wasn't going to amount to any charges, so he didn't have to call. The, mm -hmm. the fact that it was a disturbance alone wasn't kind of sinking in. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, yeah, having an event in yeah. conference for educational conference. purposes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let, them tell us let them tell us that they know the rules and they're going to abide by it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's fine. Conference and then we have Lynn Lickamont. Um, China Bowl. Are you trying to bowl here? I'm trying to get Okay. Yep. Right on. Okay. So, she's coming next month, anyways. Okay. In China Bowl, is that the officers, you know, it was a busy night. The officers were up front. Mm -hmm. Typical crowd. They saw a party that they knew had warrants. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, yeah. 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 The crowd was in there. Huh? There was a crowd in there. Oh, this is like, no, it oh. wasn't overcrowded. Okay. It was a crowd, and it was a typical, I hate the police crowd. I mean, uh. it was that. But uh, I think the thing about that was, um, you know, the kid ran into that from the officer's arrest, and there was no, no incident with respect to that. Mm -hmm. It's just the cumulativeness of the, of the frequency of calls kind of thing. She's coming yeah. in next yeah. week, I don't know, yeah. next month. Uh, She's done, I don't know what yeah. she's going to do. Mm. Alright, Lynn Lickamont. Lynn Lickamont, <laughs> exercising due diligence and new owners down there. We were just down there, watched the kids go in, couldn't believe he went in, and he came out with beer. I went right back in with the kid, a uh, young, young man, and um, he's never asked for an ID. There you go. He's Where's never you asked mean? for an ID. Don't be here in three minutes. And there was, and I made it clear to, to the owner, the owner, they were more than sorry, but yeah, I'm sure. You know, right. Sorry, yes. Yeah, oh, we'll have a conference. Right. No, not tonight. Hearing. No, hearing. Hearing. Right. Hearing. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Cafe El Molino. Cafe El Molino. There was another incident in Cafe El Molino. There was a, a fighter and assault outside down the street from Cafe El Molino where the person was drunk. It was probably a good assumption that the person was in there. <laughs> The detectives went back, they did some interview with the owner yep. and confirmed he was in there. He started trouble in there. They say he wasn't overserved in there. But nonetheless, when he was outside, he was drunk enough to cause a commotion mm -hmm. and get himself PC, I believe. Was that it? Yeah, he was. Um, Gucci and I went in there, and then the owner was supposed to supply us with some video, uh, which we never received. Mm -hmm. He had just stated that the fight that he was at, the fight did not occur inside, that it happened outside, and that he was. Inside the establishment, he was intoxicated and he was becoming aggressive with people in there, including the owner himself. Did he call the police? No. We well, had, <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. He said that he, he had left on his own and no fight happened inside, and so he didn't call the police. He should have called the police, obviously. Yeah, I, I believe it came in for um, an intoxicated male with a gun at the Prime gas station, which he wasn't found to right, have a gun. Right, right. You know, that's right. like the, right. and the police here right away. Right. Um, and he was found across the street from the prime and wrestled with the officers for a little bit. He was just heavily intoxicated. He should have been more proactive and this probably wouldn't have happened out in the street. Oops, bring him in. That's it? No, nope. that's it. The last one. And it is on New Year's Eve. Who's this? Oh, yes. It's five Sorry. nine five. I, I, I just could not, I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine this, this, uh, what's his name, Stanley, been down there forever, mm -hmm. you know, telling me over and over how, what the rules are that he knows. Uh, he was able to clean up his occupancy through City Hall, he was able to get his license, and at the last minute, was able to open for regular hours. They were, 
there were literally, in my report, I don't know exactly what it was, there were at least 10 people in there. Mm -hmm. At 20 after, or whatever it was. Yeah. 1 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had the TVs on. They didn't even know I was in there for five minutes. I was trying to get his attention. You know, it was just a party. Everybody was just totally, um, didn't care less in the world that they, they had to still require by the rules, and they right. didn't get a special permit. No, they didn't. So, I brought the permit list with the people on it. Good. And he was able to read it. Agreed, he didn't have permission to be open. Mm -hmm. He was running business as usual. I don't know that he actually knows the rules. He knows the rules. Yeah. Well, maybe he's forgotten a lot of them because. <laughs> he knows the rules. That's great. Man, you know, conference. Hearing. Conference. Oh, here. Hearing. Here. Right. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> uh, that's all on the agenda. Motion with your. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Did they appeal? Did they appeal? No, we haven't heard anything. Did they? Did they, did they appeal? They appealed before. It's a March date. Yeah, we haven't heard anything. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So. Okay, I'll look it up. They March said they were going to appeal, right? Yes, they, they did. did appeal. They did appeal because I think they were supposed to serve this like around Thanksgiving yes. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so we didn't get that? anything. Um, no. Yeah. And that was for um, late night or after service. Yeah. Detective, detective yeah. Now I remember. Yeah. New business. Um, Non-alcoholic common viculars. Um, these are restaurants with that do not have alcohol. I have approximately 17 of them that have not renewed their common vicular licenses. Um, so what we usually do is have them come in for a, a hearing. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then in the majority of cases, they come in, take care of it, and pay the late fee mm -hmm. so that they don't have to come to the hearing. Okay, so, just we send out a letter for a, he a hearing. Mm -hmm. Come for Can a I have a motion? Motion to uh, send out a letter for the 17 people for the hearing. Um, okay, well, aye. aye. Alright, so you can see the motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Uh, favor.